Okay, so we've uh, learned how to use these tools, and what they do. Now we really should talk about what it is exactly that you want to clean up in these tracks. So, for example, these drum tracks here, they are quite simply in pretty good condition, but I'm going to group them, I'm going to call this drums, and we're going to look at the areas that we need to clean up. So usually at the end, we're going to find that there might be some ringing out of cymbals or something, and we want to decide exactly when that should end. So listening to these parts is very important. So now that I've grouped them, I can hit solo and just listen to this bit. Good, and the, the symbols sort of finish out about there, so I'm going to delete that last section. I'm just going to select it all there and hit the F key because this is a groovy way to uh, put in a fade, selecting something and hitting F. If it's at the end of a tr uh, clip, it will do a fade out. If it's at the beginning of the clip, it'll do a fade in. Similar thing in the middle part of the song here. It might be fine to leave the audio, but we're going to have a listen and check anyway. Bang, symbols finish about there. I'm going to chop the track here, because the, the clips, the regions. I'm going to chop them, which is basically just splitting them into two separate parts. And that is the B key. It's also known as separate. If you go to the edit window, it's here. It's called separate clip at selection. So command E is the old school way of doing it. But quite simply, we've chopped it. However you do it, doesn't matter. And we're going to zoom in here and find this next little bit where he starts playing and make sure it comes in cleanly with a nice fade. Beautiful. You can see a tiny little bit of the waveform there that we're probably going to want to get rid of. So we're going to learn one more little trick. Now this is called tab to transient. Transient is a sharp increase in volume or, or a start at the attack of a signal. So if I hit the tab key while I'm in here selected, it will go up to the next little transient. Now, the shortcut for that is hitting tab, but it's turned on by making sure you click on that little button there. So tab to transient, and I can hit the A key, which will chop off the beginning of this region few more little tricks in there for you. So, we can now go into here again, listen to this. Wait for these symbols to finish ringing out. Bang, cool. I'm going to chop it about there. I'm going to fade out that section. Tab to transient up to the next hit and hit the A key, which chops off the beginning of the, the clip there. Cool. Often you've got to be very careful you don't chop off too much, like here from my previous editing. I haven't, I've got to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to tab to transient at the start here, but I'm going to make sure I haven't missed anything. Beautiful. Now, you can do a fade here if you like. Make sure your fade finishes before the audio starts. Cool. Now, you can go through the rest of the entire track doing all this sort of cleaning up work, um, soloing and listening and things, and you might find there's... There's not big reason to do all of it, but you might also find little things like at 3 minutes 18 here on the violin track, you might notice, you'll find when you solo this in this little part of the track. There's a little blip, whatever you want to call it, a little non-desired hit in there. So these are good reasons to clean up the track. It'll make everything sound neater and the band sound tighter. Some people disagree with this sort of cleaning up of the tracks, but it's usually just going to make things sound better. So I can delete that section there, select that bit, fade in, do a fade out there. This will now sound a lot cleaner. And with the whole band back in, it'll sound much neater. Beautiful. You do this with all your tracks, make sure every little gap and little section, the beginning of a track, the end of a track is all cleaned up and you end up with a really neat track ready to go. Last thing to add on the end of that is once you've found your very start point, which this track is quite near the start, you put in some markers. So markers is basically hitting the enter key in the bottom right hand part of your keyboard or you can bring up the marker ruler that's up the top here which we're obviously were viewing, but I'd switched it off and you can view this marker ruler. Put in a marker for the start of your track, find a mar the end of the track and put a marker in there too. Now what you can do is you can double click in the marker line and it will select the whole track for you. It's a good way to get used to um, managing a track and keeping a solid start and an end so you can listen to the whole track cleanly from where to go. Beautiful. Bingo.